In this video, I'll go over everything you need to know regarding the strategies on the tracks in the Egg Cup. The track picking, item sets, power item spots, bomb spots, and the shock spots. So without further ado, let's start giving her, bud. Just before getting started, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I can guarantee you won't regret it. Also, make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and leave a comment because I'll probably respond to it. Yeehaw, bud. Starting things off, we got Yoshi Circuit. This track is one of the most broken tracks in the game, especially for a track that doesn't look like a broken track. Regardless, for that reason, this is a bagging track. Your spot really has no relevance towards how well you'll do in the race, meaning this track is much like a dry dry desert or a cheese land. In 6v6, you should only be picking this if you have a ton of bottom spots. It's the easiest way to limit the other team from running away early because of their initial top spots. There's not too much to mention after that, since Yoshi Circuit is just another hard bagging track. You have three item sets on this track. At the first set, you have five single boxes, your average first set, but keep in mind if you're bagging, you'll be cycling through a ton of items at this set, especially considering what you can do with some of the power items on this track. At the second set, you have four single boxes with a double box in the middle. You'll probably play around this set very similarly to how you would at the first set. No surprise here, since again, this track is played like your average hard bagger. And at the last set, you have four single boxes and a double box left of the very right box. This is a pretty important item set on lap 1 and 2, as you want to put yourself in a good position going into the following lap without having to worry about getting new items, especially if you're already really far behind. You have a pretty solid golden strat on this track. Either begin goldening as you touch the first set or as you're in the beginning off-road and take the ending shortcut. It'll last until midway through the tunnel, so a little before the second set. It's a pretty decent golden strat. The star strat is in the exact same place. Chain your star into the first set and take the ending shortcut. Not much else to say here, it's a great star strat, so you'll be giving her. and this bill strat is probably the most iconic bill strat in this game. I would suggest activating your bill shortly after hopping into the shortcut. In doing so, it'll drop you off on the straight before the last set, rather than on the turn before it. Either way, this is a really good bill strat, and it's a massive reason why this track is such a hard bagger. You have some pretty solid bomb spots on this track. The first one could come as a surprise to the people behind you as you enter the tunnel. You very likely won't be able to see the bomb until it's too late, which means this bomb spot can do some damage. Another great bomb spot is on the tight section after the tunnel, specifically after the little grass hop. Your opponents will land onto this bomb, so once again, they won't be able to move out of the way until it's too late. And another awesome bomb spot is as soon as you begin your right drift on the final turn. This one is great because if you can catch your opponents by surprise, they'll likely hop right into the explosion. It's pretty sick. Now, it's super situational where you want to use shock, especially on this track, but I think the safest shock spot, while still being one that can really benefit you, is at the second set. If you chain into the first set, you'll probably dodge a massive amount of people, and at the last set, you won't have enough time to catch up, at least in a lap 3 situation, and assuming you're really far behind. The second set can help you out a ton, because you have a few off-road shortcuts afterwards, and you'll likely shock people out of their bills by this point. But again, it's super situational because it's Yoshi Circuit. Anything can happen. Either way, we're finished with Yoshi circuit, so let's keep her going on Excite Bike Arena. Excite Bike Arena is a pretty cool track. While the track has a ton of ramps, that doesn't mean you can't catch up if you get stuck in the back. It can be a bit of a random track sometimes, so in that case, I'd say this is a balanced track. You'll have opportunities to gain some sort of lead, and you'll also have opportunities to catch up if it comes to that. In 6v6, while there are better options, you could pick this one starting in bottom spots. Collecting coins on this track can be a little difficult, and since you start with 3-5 to five coins in bottom 6 spots, you'll be off to a solid start in that regard. I think that's all there is to talk about about when it comes to picking this track online. You have three item sets on this track, and they're quite spread out, at least from the second set. At the first set, you have six single boxes, your average starting set, and that's all there is to it. You could see some bagging here at the beginning. At the second set, you have five single boxes with a double box right of the two left boxes. If you're aiming for the double, just know that the shroom spot is right before this set, and someone very well could shroom in front of you and steal the double from you. It's also worth mentioning that this is the more common item set to bag at, and at the last set, you have four single boxes with two double boxes next to the second left box. In a lap 3 situation, this is not the item set you want to rely on, especially with the ending shortcut right next to the set. 
The golden on this track is actually really good since you can camp in the off-road on the massive straights. Begin goldening as you enter the off-road before the second set. You'll be able to camp in the off-road for a good while like I said, and your golden will run out midway through the second straight. It's pretty solid, and the star is best used in the same place. Activate your star in the same off-road as shown here, and besides my mediocre driving after the second set, it's a solid star strat, especially if you can chain into the double box. And yeah, the bill is also used in the same place. Activate Activate your bill, you know where. It'll cut off the entire turn, and it'll also drop you off midway through the second straight. It's a really reliable bill as well. While this track may seem weird for bomb spots, it really isn't. The only really good bomb spot on the ramps is at the end of this ramp. This is a pretty tight section if you already committed to taking this path, making this bomb spot pretty reliable. You can also back your bomb right before the second set. While this is a wide section, the set comes right after the shroom spot, and you could really screw people over who are shrooming up. And another great bomb spot is on the final straight before the final ramp. If your opponents aren't shrimming up, they'll have no choice but to get bombed or hop into the off-road because of how tight the road is at the end of the race. This is a win-win situation type bomb spot. Remember how I said you don't want to rely on the final set in a lap 3 situation? Well, with this shock spot, you can FORCE everyone in front of you to rely on the final set, assuming they don't dodge. You could very well be the only player out of you and everyone in front of you with good items to take the ending shortcut. This shock spot can be underlooked because it's so far away from the final set, but I honestly think it's one of the best shock spots in the game. In almost all cases, this is the shock spot you want to take advantage of. But with that, Excitefike Arena has been covered, so let's keep on giving her on Dragon Driftway. Dragon Driftway is a pretty weird track overall. It's uncommon, but I feel like this track has the potential to be a really good runner because of the gap jump. I think it is in most cases, so I'll consider this track to be a running track. It can play out like a balance track if you pull Shock, but that's the case on every track. In 6v6, you should pick this if you have at least first, and I'll get into the main reason why shortly. Additionally, being able to take the gap jump with pretty much not a worry in the world about getting bumped can be really refreshing and can lead to breakaways. This is also a really good track to pick in Mogi if you want to keep first. However, you normally don't want to anyways. So yeah, while an underrated one, Dragon Driftway is a running track. You have three item sets on this track, but with a twist this time around. The first set is not your average starter. You have four single boxes with a double box in the middle. That's why this is such a good track for first, as long as you don't get bumped before the first set. You'll be guaranteed protection right away, and this is one of two tracks you can say that for at the first set. At the second set, you have four single boxes with a double box left of the very right box. This is a pretty easy double box to take, as you don't have to go too far out of your tight lines for it, so just keep that in mind. And at the last Last set, you have three single boxes with two double boxes next to the very left and right boxes. Two doubles makes it a bit easier to nail one, and with the ending shortcut that comes up shortly after, this item set could make or break your race. The golden strat is a bit of a weird one, but it works. Your cue to begin goldening is when your first super mini turbo runs out before the final set. It'll last until right after the ending shortcut, so yeah, it's a pretty good one. And while you can find value in chaining your star into the last set, I personally think it's better to chain into the first set and take the two off-road shortcuts without having to worry about bumps or shells or anything. You have a lot less space here, so you'll be given her if you're invincible. And the bill strat is pretty basic. Simply hop into the ending shortcut and activate your bill. As long as you're not right behind the pack, your bill should drop you off right before the first set on that straight. Again, as long as you're not right behind the pack. In that case, you could get a pretty terrible landing. There are a ton of super tight sections on this track, so you can back your bomb in a ton of places, so let's go over the not so obvious ones outside of the third bomb spot. Backing your bomb before the gap jump is really really good. You'll deny people of taking the shortcut, and because the track is so tight at this point, they'll probably get hit as well. This is probably one of the most underrated bomb spots in the game. A decent bomb spot after the second set is in the middle after getting your first super mini turbo. It's not the greatest, but your opponents will have to go really wide to avoid this bomb, so it's decent. And of course, backing your bomb before the final ramp. This is a pretty tight section on the track, so you'll definitely land a few hits if you're close enough. Not much else to say here, this bomb spot does work. 
This shock spot is really good in most situations. I think you'd be better off chaining into the last set if you're close enough to the pack, but otherwise, chain into the first set. You'll likely be able to take the grass cut safely while your opponents will have to go around the gap jump. Also, since this is a pretty tight section, make sure you don't run into any ground shells. That can be pretty devastating. But otherwise, this shock spot can be really good under the right circumstances. Again, the last set is absolutely a viable option if you're close enough to the pack. I just think you're much better off chaining into the first set if you have a shock going into the next lap. But with that, we're done with Dragon Driftway, so let's finish strong on Mute City. Mute City doesn't give you many opportunities to catch up since you can't really bag at any set, and there's a shroomless shortcut that skips the only set you can kind of bag at. It's also somewhat easy to break away here, so I would say this is a running track, although you would not want to pick this if you have your typical running track spots. In 6v6, I'd suggest picking this track when you have middle spots. That's because the beginning is heavily influenced by the beginning pit zone where you build up your coin count. You'll probably collect 6 to 7 coins, so if you're in a bottom 6 spot, you're guaranteed 9 to 10 coins. This can help a lot since the boost panel section drags on quite a lot, so you're coin count will help you out quite a bit. I would say if the other team is top 3, bottom 3, this is a good track to pick. So yeah, while Mute City is a running track, you do not want to pick it if you have top spots like most running tracks. You have 3 item sets on this track, but you really only have 2 since you skip the final set most of the time. At the first set, you have 5 single boxes. While it is your average first set, it is a bit farther from the finish line than usual, which is another factor behind why this is a solid pick for middle spots. At the second set, you have 4 single boxes with a double box in the middle. This is already a pretty tight section on the track, and it can get pretty hectic in the pack when most people want the double box, so just keep that in mind. And at the last set, you have 4 single boxes with 2 double boxes next to the very left and right boxes. You're practically guaranteed a double box here since the ending shortcut comes before this set and you can take it shroomless as well. So yeah, if you really need new items, you can rely on this set, no questions asked. The Golden Strat is really good on this track. Begin Goldening at the Shroom spot. You'll be able to take the Ending Shortcut as well. Considering you're taking the two shortcuts on the second half of the track, this is a super strong Golden Strat in a lap 3 situation. And the star strat is very similar. Once again, activate your star in the shroom spot and take the ending shortcut as well. It is also pretty sweet in a lap through situation. And here we have a bill extension. Activate your bill as you touch the second boost panel, and it will drop you off right in front of the finish line. I'm not exactly sure where the extension part of this bill strat is, so I'm not sure where you would bill if you're way too close to the pack. If you know, let the squad know in the comment section. There are some really good ways to use bombs on this track. First and foremost, right before the second set. This is a pretty tight section on the track, and by essentially blocking the double box, you're guaranteed to land a few hits with this one. An amazing bomb spot is as you're taking the ending cut. You'll deny people behind you from taking it, and you'll gain a pretty big lead as a result. And another solid bomb spot is right before the final ramp. Since you're skipping the last set, the bomb spot before the ending cut is the much better option, but this is the safer option. You'll still land hits, and it's much closer to the finish line in case you don't have protection afterwards. This is another super strong shock spot, arguably one of the best shock spots in the game. Chain your shock into the second set, and you'll do some damage. Your opponents won't be able to take either shortcut after the second set, except maybe the shroomless if they grow in time. But honestly, in a lap 3 situation, performing the shroomless ending cut isn't the best option, specifically if you're in the pack. You'll be in a pretty amazing spot by chaining your shock into the set regardless though, so take advantage of it. Anyway, with that, we're done with the strategies on the tracks in the egg cut. I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you'd like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, stay tuned for next week where I go over the driving on the tracks in the Triforce Cup. I'm honestly so eager to finish this series because what I have in store is going to be so awesome. And because I don't say this enough, seriously, thank you guys so much for the continued support. It means so much more than you know. But until next time, thank you so much for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic day. And keep on giving her, bud.